the rights of children. Man was created with his mate and hardly lived at all without a mate. That he and his mate were created together at the very beginning of human existence indicates that marriage is natural. Reproduction is the most important purpose of this natural state. A marriage made for reasons other than bringing up children is no more than an entertainment. The offspring who come into the world through a marriage dedicated to pleasure are the unfortunate product of a transient emotion. The permanence of a nation depends upon the education of its people, upon their lives being guided to spiritual perfection. If nations have not been able to bring up perfect generations to whom they can entrust their future, then their future will be dark. There is no doubt that the duty of bringing up children properly devolves upon mothers and fathers. Human generations go from age to age, and human beings worthy of the name are those who have risen to high levels of spiritual attainment. Those who do not develop their spiritual faculties because they have been ill-educated scarcely merit being called human. They are nothing more than strange creatures, even though they too are descended from Adam. And those who are burdened with being their parents are unfortunate to have nurtured them. When trees are correctly pruned, they give fruit and their growth improves, otherwise they shrivel and become stunted. If this is true, should not a human being with so many talents and abilities be given at least as much care as a tree? Oh man, it is you who bring the child forth into the world. So it is your responsibility to raise that child to the realms beyond the heavens. Just as you take care of its bodily health, so too you must take care of its spiritual life. For God's sake, have pity and save the helpless innocent. Do not let its life go to waste. If parents encourage their children to develop their abilities and be useful both to themselves and the community, then they have given the nation a strong new pillar. If, on the contrary, they neglect to cultivate human feelings in their children, they will have released scorpions into the community. Parents have the right to claim parentage of their children as long as they educate and equip them with virtues. They cannot make such a claim if they neglect them. And what shall we call the parents who show their children the ways to wickedness and indecency and cause them to break with humanity?